Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Actually today we're gonna uh, work through the two-factor authentication or bypass two-factor authentication. This is just educational video but don't try it on a uh, usual website like Apple or Google or this website because uh, some method methods are different in different websites. So let's go ahead and run Kali. So let me log in to okay. So just let me pick up site. This site is just uh, for testing. I'm gonna remove this Tom and X after testing with for. So uh, we have a website here. I have username and the password three four five six seven eight, and it's gonna be the login. So this is two factor authentication here. I'm gonna try it something, it's not valid, so it's gonna verify it's not working. So let's go back here. I'm gonna to go to uh, Kali Linux and let's start here. I'm gonna use prop suit here and let it just be opened and Next, start. Okay, we have it here. So now I'm gonna use target. And before that, go to settings. And uh, we need to add some things here for session. You should active all of this, but we have work here. So let's go ahead and check it. So we have a target here, sitemap, and we're going to open the browser. So paste the address. You have the address here. And our username was Iman. And password was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's log in. It needs a two factor authentication. I wanna put something here and I'm gonna set it on verify. So it says invalid code. So let's get back here. So, first of all, find the website you're using, uh, you're actually trying to log in. So this is what we have here. The first connection is get, and this is authentication. This is the code that we entered, and this is username and password that we had in the field. Uh, move to setting to session and create new rule. Add it here. In a scope, enable all, include all yours, and press OK. Are you sure you want to process? Yes. This rule accept the session for uh, logging because sometimes when you uh, enter the codes, enter the two factor authentication codes multiple times, the site ban you and uh, doesn't let you use the code. But if you apply this rule on this session, this thing is going to be okay. So, uh, we have the login here, but we don't need login. We have username and password on this challenge, but in authentication, the parameter here is the code. And we enter 3453. Three. So, uh, right click on it and send to intruder and open intruder tab 
and find the code here click on the code and click on add to check whatever it is move back to payload payload sorry spell it wrong and we need characters here actually characters are uh, numbers are what we're looking for and we have four numbers to be login we need four so we set it up from one 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 and to nine 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 because there are four characters so we see payload payload counts request counts and steps so meaning integer you sh it should be one 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 for four characters and max should be nine 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 so we have it here and everything is look fine so it should be numbers and let's start the attack and see what happened okay so you see the attack here we have a different status code so are all 20 but one of them is 302 i think this one and let's pause it here so this one it's redirecting our page so the hp session id and the cookie have been created here but in the others it's just getting back to the page but in this one the page is redirecting so the payload is one 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 it's four one and i think i say one more over okay so let's get back to the website so i'm going to use this payload and i'm going to use this code to check is verifying or not so let's get back to our browser here where is the browser target oh we closed the browser okay that's fine um let's log in again and sorry let me check the website okay username was iman and password was one two three four five six seven eight login and two-factor authentication was one 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 and one so let's see what happens it's verified and we are logged in so you should do the work first until you get the redirect or successful connection here and the intruder so let's start its attack again do you see it's redirecting here but others are coming back to that page again so we have the session here everything is working fine this, this is just educational and don't try to use it on a real world website and after this video the domain this uh, domain address uh, will be removed because it's just for education and uh, you don't need to buy the license of this program because it's free for this options and I'm going to discard it you have a lot of payloads here like uh, characters we can use characters custom and a lot of things I'm gonna make a video of others but this one is well it was for two-factor authentication just don't forget to check the pages so the first one was posting username was iman and password was one to eight and the authentication was the code if you find this you'll get in it doesn't 
a matter is HTTP or HTTPS you're gonna be logging and that's it um, I'm gonna work on other uh, type of intruders actually and see what we can do uh, this websites are uh, this website is going to be removed because it's for just educational purpose. You can build your own and test on your own website or any website that you want, but it's just for educational use. Don't do it for other things. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're going to have more video with a uh, colleague and intruder, and uh, we're going to have more uh, videos about network and security system of the computers thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to lo like subscribe and hit the bell i'm waiting for your comments thank you